Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the n integers and then the program has print the integers whose binary representation is whose binary representation is a palindrome and if the so if there is no integer then we have to print minus one as the output so first we are going to accept the n integers and print the integers whose binary representation is palindrome and if there is no such integer then we are going to print minus one as the output so now we'll take our first case so here we have five integers and the binary representation of the first integer phi is 101 so 101 is a palindrome so as you can see when it is reversed it remains the same so that's why it's a palindrome so for this binary representation the condition is true and for 8 the binary representation is 1000 so when it is reversed, it is not the same. That is, it is not a palindrome. So here it is false. And then when we consider 45, the binary representation is 101101. So when it is reversed, it remains the same. So it is a palindrome. And then when we consider 27, the binary representation is 11011 which is a palindrome so here also it is true and then for 32 the binary representation is 100000 and it is not a palindrome so here it is false so now we can see for the three integers that is 5, 45 and 27 the binary representation is a palindrome so we will print 5, 45 and 27 as our output now we will take our another test case so here we have 8 integers and 11 for 11 the binary representation is 1011 so it is not a palindrome so it is false and for 22 the binary sorry for 22 the binary representation is 10110 so here also it is false And for 4, it is 100. So here also it is false. And for 53, it is 110101. For 66, it is 100010. And for 24, it is 11000 and for 59 it is 110 sorry 11011 and then for 34 it is 100010 so for all the binary representations we can clearly see that they are not in palindrome so for all going to print so all conditions are false 
so we are going to print minus 1 as the output as there are no such integer with a binary representation as a palindrome so we will print minus 1 as the output now let us implement our program first we will get our input n and then we will get the n integers using a num list and then after getting our inputs now we'll have a variable called flag equal to false so this will be useful in our minus one case so if there is any integer with a binary representation of a palindrome the flag will be true and minus one will not be printed so for num in num list we are going to check the condition that is if the binary that is bin of num which gives the binary representation of the number with two colon so we use this because the bin function will have a prefix of 0b so in order to eliminate that we use two colon and it should be equal to equal to the reverse of that is bin of num to colon reverse so the binary representation of the number should be equal to the reverse of the binary representation of that same number so if it is equal then we are going to print the num and use an argument and the flag will be changed to true and then if the flag remains false then we are going to print minus 1 as the output so we will print minus 1 so now let us run our program we will pass our first test case yes we have got the correct output and then we will pass our another test case so here we have got minus 1 as the output as there is no integer with the binary representation as a palindrome our program has passed all our given test cases successfully Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.